I mean, it's a new year. You know, I mean, everybody is equal at this point. You know, everybody's still trying to fight to get to the top. Um, there's a lot of work to be done. Uh, we haven't even played a game yet. Uh, whatever you did last year doesn't mean a thing. Uh, so right now, we're just worried about OTAs. And we're trying to cut down on the penalties and mistakes. Uh, just make sure we're getting aligned right. Just trying to get better each and every day. We still got a lot of work to do. You know, Zim's, Zim's staying on us, uh, making sure that we're uh, trying to get better every day and not, uh, not going backwards. They get the old Zim back now. It's a ton of fun to be back out there competing, you know, for me especially. You know, I'm, I'm able to go out there a few weeks early and you know, there's nothing worse than being an athlete and, and not being able to be out there when, you know, the rest of your teammates are out there working and preparing. So, you know, I wasn't getting any better over there by myself. Yeah, he's worked real hard. Um, it's good to see him out here this week. He, he got some reps yesterday as well. And he's hot. Well, he's a friendly target. It's like throwing into a mattress. That's that's a new one for me. Uh, you know, that's, that's kind of my role around here. So uh, I have to find out what kind of mattress he likes, you know, what his sleep number is. So hopefully it's 82 and, and we're good. In the spring, it's always a little bit of cat and mouse game between the offense and defense. You know, they run a couple plays, you know, that hurt the defense and defense will come back and run something that will hurt them. And, and you even ask our guys on defense, they hate when we're moving around and shifting in motion. One thing that we've kind of emphasized over the first OTA, eight OTAs is, you know, let's break the huddle quick, let's get lined up. You know, it's good for the defense to see different things and have to react quickly and make different calls. He want to get the best guys the ball in the hand every time. You know, he's going to get the matchups he wants. So, you know, and that's what we all want. You know, we want to get the matchups and we want to make plays for our team to help us win football games. It's more about getting him around a little bit of bodies flying, flying at him a little bit. Um, you know, it's not so much trying to figure out what he can do right now. It's just trying to get him comfortable with, with 22 players around him. I, you know, I was excited you know, to get back into action, you know, to get out there, you know, just to get some live reps, get some live bullets to see where I'm at myself. But you go out there and you rehab and you try to get your body back in shape. But you think you're in shape till you go take four reps back to back. And then you're like, man, it's a different type of shape you got to get in. So I'm just going out there and playing football. I'm still Dalvin Cook. You know, I, I haven't left. The motivation is still here. You know, my, my talent is still here. You know, just a little older. That's it. How important is it for your players and these players to still have fun and enjoy the game? Well, you should be having fun playing the game, you know, and sometimes it becomes such a business that that's pulled out of the game. But we all played this game, coached this game, uh, definitely played when we were really young little kids. Uh, we always talk to our kids about what made you play this game and remember back to when you were a kid. We want you to have that fun uh, on the field, but there is a discipline factor. Yeah, I mean, you know, it should, we should be putting in the work studying, uh, but at the same time, you know, these are this is a group of guys that love playing football and competing against one another. And, uh, you know, this is the, the time to do that, to make one another better. And uh, so, so it is fun. Incredibly talented football team. I think everybody knows that in the Minnesota area. And it's all a process. You can see it. You talk to Rick Spielman and you see how the whole process is going, um, how they're able to draft, and you kind of see the whole thing coming together. Uh, this is a very special organization. And uh, I'm just so glad to be a part of the state and be part of the state university here.